Hi all. Um, I just thought I'd do a demonstration of um, Aros and Janus and running um, Amiga 68K applications within Aros uh, to show the state of play, what's the best way of getting um, the best out of it and so on. Um, now um, you can see, you might be able to hear this as well, this um, a nice old uh, application, uh, an old um, Amiga uh, demonstration running here from the old days at um, and from Andromeda, called DOS. Don't know if it was DOS or DOS. Now that's running a um, a standalone virtual machine, obviously for using Janus. And I've got that windowed. Um, the uh, we we do find that with um, one little glitch we have got with Janus is that when you're running full AGA, full screen, it, it can the sound can glitch, but it seems to be fine when you've got it in windowed and. Uh, like this, so uh, some kind of timing issues with it. Um, but I also want to show that it doesn't take over the whole machine. Now this machine is an NVIDIA, uh, it's got a 7800 graphics card in it. Um, it's got a 3 gigahertz dual core processor, which of course I'm only using one. Now you notice this, how, that, that the um, text there looks kind of smooth coming across. To be honest, it is actually kind of smooth. Um, better than some of the emulators I've seen. Uh, to be fair though, the original Mama Mama Thousand is even smoother than that, so um, it kind of makes it a little silly. But just to show that uh, um, AWOS can do other things at the same time, um, let's run uh, one of my favourite demos. Uh, hang on, so I've got the wrong one there, hang on. Yeah. There we go. Right, this is um, uh, a demo you might be aware of. You know that we've obviously got full OpenGL support in AROS. Um, and this demonstration was compiled from uh, the Windows version um, by Deadwood Force, so um, you get to see how good that looks. Um, what we'll do now is, now you see, it's, uh, we'll load in a video as well. So you can see we can run lots of things even with the emulator running. Um, so it's starting to glitch, maybe just a little bit, but yeah I know with an itch and a tingle yeah we know right so th that's not too bad is it uh, but if, if I get this uh, screen and drag that down um, right at the background is really starstruck um, which I've got the sound turned off on it uh, it's actually I've got it at the really glitchy bits so uh, this is actually meant to do that so if we let that go on for a little while you will see that and this is all normal okay if you watch the, uh, the demo um, but it'll come into it in a minute and it'll start smoothing out nicely. Okay, so, and the uh, the girl will appear in a minute. Here she comes, right now she's floating around. So look, I've got this in the background, which is my uh, my normal MSC, it's running fine now, running the emulator. I've got another emulator running here with uh, an old OCS version with sound. I've got an OpenGL 3D demonstration, which is hardware accelerated. And, uh, oh yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Show it as it is. Uh, and, uh, and a video to here. So let's, uh, what we'll do now, is we, I think, hopefully I've kind of made the point there that you can, uh, AWOS can cope with quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, this is glitching, but let me just shut some of this down. Right, let's close that one down. And we'll close. Let's click on that and we'll come back to here. So let's close them down so you can see that's still running out. In the old days, this would have just, you saw all that stopping for a minute and it was, I was, well, it just died, but it's so much more stable now. Um, uh, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's up there. I, I really like it. I mean, it, you know, my, my Mac OS X, my MacBook Pro, which I absolutely adore, it's got the latest line and that crashes um, at least uh, two or three times a week. Anyway, so, um, so stability is uh, subjective, but... Um, I, I like that anyway so yeah system disruptions so I'm gonna close that down now what I do want to show you now is if I now in the background see I've got my normal this is my normal Amiga display now I don't use coherency um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of coherency uh, even when it was first came along it's, it's a fantastic piece of te technical achievement absolutely te amazing but the reality is that I, I think there was a few glitches that come in with it, all kinds of problems, and yes, and and it wasn't very quick either. It it slowed the apps down and kind of made it more or less unusable. So, I'm a great believer, just run it in its own display, okay? I mean, if if I had a well, I've got a three thousand, which unfortunately is dead at the moment, but I've got a three thousand with it, and that's what it would be like, except not that resolution, obviously. Um, so this is my uh, this is running on the Janus, and of course this has been running all the time at the background. 
Um, so uh, what we'll do now is uh, two things, really important things to be aware of is that um, if you're going to run uh, your Amiga applications like this, now I'm using Amiga Forever's basic installation uh, and then I've upgraded it. But the two key things, um, you need to run, because there's a problem, obviously if you're switching screens for AROS with the Amiga M, that's going between AROS and the um, other applications. But of course if you're inside the emulator, the Amiga M doesn't work. So I've got this small... Uh, I've got two really important apps installed. I should have tied this up, but it shouldn't. I? Uh, one is Mode Pro, Mode Pro, which you get from Aminet, and another one is called Screen Switch. Now, what's, let me just, if I open up Lightwave, it might, hopefully it'll do what I did earlier. Yes, right, it's crashed. Now, in the old days, right, what would have happened? It would have just trashed AROS completely. But if I hit the button, okay, give it a few seconds, and it's back up, right? Here it comes again as good as new, and, and AROS has not been affected. Here we go, it's still working fine. You know, I, I, that's the difference in the stability nowadays. It would have completely trashed it, but no, no, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's go back to the Amiga AROS. I'm glad that did happen. It seems to not like it when you come out of the demo. Um, did that last time, but I wanted to leave that in so you can see the, the reaction of the OS. Right, so uh, let's go back into the Lightwave now. Now it's very important though, because I've I've used that Mode Pro app. In fact, if I now let's show you the screen switch. If I move the mouse pointer up to the corner, it switches back. Right? It's good and bad. I mean, I can run as many apps. If I run, I'll run Modeler now. So I've got Modeler there as well, and I just click up there. Oh, <laughs> it's done that trick again, hasn't it? <laughs> Hang on. Let's. Uh, I've got a feeling I might not have my. Uh, Mode promotion set up completely correctly. Hang on, that's uh, that's got the right up there, isn't it? You know, let's uh, quit that. Now this is uh, it hasn't crashed though, which is quite good. Uh, but let me just run that again. Right, so let's show you Lightwave. Right, it's in, oh, I was going to show you this. Oh, sorry about this. Right, I was going to show you this mode promotion. Now all I've done here, okay, I'm using this here, and I've got screen names, Modeler and uh, Lightwave layout. And I've set them accordingly. Now, hopefully, we've used Mode Promotion software. I find that uh, it does help. It really is good if you just assign the program, say it knows where it's got to sit it, because within the emulator, and the, some of the things he's done to the to Janus, um, this is Ollie, I mean, uh, I think it's maybe causing the odd glitches. Um, but I find if you use these Mode Promotion, uh, it seems to work okay. And I've got a load here, so I've got program names. A lot of programs have been set. For example, Brilliance has got, you know, I'm setting up the displays and. That's kind of the, the secret to the way this whole system works. And of course, if I scroll up there with screen switch, I get to my other program. So anyway, let's load in a let's load a scene, Space Fighters. Here we go, switch it to the camera view. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because I actually think now, the way it's, because of the stability and everything else, I think that AROS is the platform. If you want to run 68K software right now, I know a lot of people are gonna scream and hate me for saying this. Um, but I think it's a platform to run now with with a caveat, okay. And this is this is a good example. If I was running this now, bear in mind, you, most of you probably know I've got an X one thousand, so I, this is not a case of I've not used it, okay. The reason I say this is with um, the uh, Amiga OS, it's got a fantastic. I think it's Petunia, it's called, where it converts into sixty eight thousand code. Now, what it means is, if I scroll this across, you see, I switch over to the block mode. In Amiga OS, that would be in full wide frame. And you see that one second delay while when I stop? Okay. In Amiga, it's instant. Now, I think it's also to do with the cache settings or something on the processor, because I, I remember seeing this on in my, one of my previous emulators where that was as fast as on um, Amiga OS. But anyway, I've never been able to reproduce it, so no idea. Um, but that's the one area, and you do notice that when you're running Amiga software, the, on Amiga OS, uh, as long as it's well written software, it runs brilliant. And to be fair, this was I couldn't render anything. Um, I couldn't render on my um, my uh, X1000, but I spoke to other guys who are running it on Sam. I think it might just be a driver tweak or something, but or, or something to do with mode promotion. But um, anyway, the reason for saying this is that um, because obviously you're running for a virtual machine, so it's actually emulating the full machine. You don't have to, for example, if I want to run. 
uh, D paint five. I just do this. Now one thing you have to be careful of because it will crash it. You must switch to an Amiga screen. And what you'll notice is now this is one of the it's a little thing. Uh, I'm hoping this might be fixed, but you see it's it's just put it in the top half of the screen, okay? Any other days used to take over, but now it just puts it in the top. But it does work nicely if I go into in fact if I go to um load animations and go and find an animation. Let's find one in here. Uh color bird. There you go, color bird. There you go. So it's a little animation in here. And it, and it and it does work well and you can use you can use all your old Amiga software. Now, if I just go up to the top, it switches back, okay? Oh, I've just launched video paint. Well, that's okay. We'll do that in a second. Hang on. So now I've got Lightwave. I've got, I've got D-Paint. Well, let's, okay, let's run uh, TV Paint. Okay, set that. Now, now for some reason, I, I won't go up. I can't get this above um, 1600 by uh, 900, but I've got this set to 1440. But let's um, open this up, and I'll just do the usual little trick, which is to load, let's load up Zombie. Now this is a big old image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. Let me just, so, I can, so you can see the process in performance. If I, first thing I'll do is, well I'll tell you what, we'll do this one. So I click in the middle, and I'm using that as a brush. It takes two or three seconds, bang, and it's there. Now I will tell you now that that operation on my X1000 is just like that. Okay, so there are differences, but um, generally, because I can run everything nice and easy, I actually prefer using AWS. Right, so I've got that, and what else have I got? I've got an old, it's old AWeb. Now, AWeb runs nicely on here. The, the only downside, of course, is we've got, with Janus, we've got no, uh, no network connection, which of course you have on the other platforms. So that needs to be addressed, um, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, yes, I do want to quit. Um, so again, I've got. Well, what else have we got here? Fantavision. Again, let's um, let's open a movie. Now, remember these are really old applications. Uh, one second, I need to use my brain here to find find the app. Uh, one more down. Oh, do you know, I keep missing. I've done this loads of times. Now. I keep missing it. Fantavision movies. Let's go um, dinosaurs. Okay, now the sounds. Um, yeah, it's gone in. I'll let you change it. So if you remember, this is the old Fantavision program. Okay, and again, if I click in there, and I can just cycle through all my applications in there. And of course, I've I've still got still got Aros running here uh, quite happily. All right, uh, so let's switch back. Uh, what else can we run? Well, let's let's um, shut let's shut some of these down actually. Click in there. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Find the menu. Uh, do you want to quit anyway? Yes. And uh, let's let's actually just set this up to render. Um, uh, that's a bad choice. Uh, that wasn't the one, was it? So let me go to. Now, really important if you're going to do this, you must turn the render display to off. Okay. Uh, it can cause problems when it's um, saving. So I'm going to put this in the RAM disk. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it in work, Workbench. I'm just going to save this as space. Okay. And I'm going to now render that. Okay, so go to 180. Click OK. There you go. Quick rendering of this thing. And that's that done. It's very fast because, you know, it's obviously on a pretty, a pretty damn quick um, computer here. So uh, let me just close Lightwave down. Okay, a few seconds and then he goes. Okay, and we'll shut this down as well. Quit. Uh, let's shut TV paint down. So I've got a hell of a lot running on there. Um, I'll come back to that in a second, hang on. Right, well, I, I know what I wanted to show you was this. Um, if I now, let's get that out of the way. And if I go to my workspace, I should have in here a picture that I've just rendered called space. There you go, 180. There you go. So that's the image. So, and that was straight. So as you can see, I can um, it, the integration. I think is pretty pretty good. And um, just another little thing which I, I actually really like. We've got this great new um, uh, a, a mod player. I mean, this is slightly off track. Um, I know it's completely off track, but I absolutely love this. 
let me just uh, let me just show you this. Um, it's kind of different the way it works. Um, hang on. Um, I remember, is it nine? Hang on. File. Let's file menu load. Oh, I was there. No, that's why I couldn't find it. Uh, let's put this on and press five. <laughs> Here we go. I really like this. Okay, what we got running now? We still got TV Paint. Uh, okay, right. So uh, oh. let's go back into here now. Of course, I've got other applications. Of course, I've got my um, my Art Department Pro. So let's grab an image here. Let's say uh, the 909 image. Now, the reason I'm showing you all this is because I want you to see this actually. This is a great little platform for working on. I, you know, I've really got to say, I, I absolutely love it. I mean, look, give you an example. Look, brilliant. So let's run brilliant. Now, again, it does run it the way I've got it set up. It does run in a small screen, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get this to be a normal size, but it's a small price to pay. So let's go in and get images. I mean, this is all my old Amiga software. Now, the one thing I found on um, if I was using uh, my X1000, or let's forget the X1000 now, this Amiga OS, okay? Nothing wrong with it, and I'm not criticizing it. But I, I couldn't get it into a normal screen size. I had to. It was in uh, a fake 64480. So, um, but I mean, I'm just running everything seamlessly. I think seamlessly now. Uh, you know, I think as good as. I mean, this is a really nice virtual machine. Um, yeah, let's go back to it there. Yep. Uh, let me shut this down now. I like that music. <laughs> There you go. Um, what else have we got on here? Uh, oh, we've got Octomed. Now, Octomed works. The only thing is, of course, the sound is glitching like crazy. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get that fixed. It's kind of annoying, but I can put this on. And it, and it... Oh, I've got the other music playing, haven't I? But it, trust me, it, it, it actually does work. Um, but the sound, until we've sort out this glitch problem, um, the sound's just uh, not really good enough. Uh, well, well, what else we got? Let's shut down AD Pro. What I'm trying to say is that basically, um, we can use this. You can actually, oh, here, oh, look at this. Look, let's run some more. Look, I've got, um, I've got old Sculpt. Yeah, Sculpt Animate. I mean, that works nicely. I've done that, I rendered out a couple of images with that. I used to play with that all the time. Um, then we've got P Paint works brilliantly. Actually, it's neat as well. You see, it doesn't do that rubbish there. I think it's a bit friendlier in the system, so I can let's load up that clown again, the same thing as I always do. But, and then do a brush, cut that out. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, it's, it's all working beautifully, isn't it? Quit. No problems at all. If, as I said, if it does cause a problem, it, you know, look, if you want to type a letter, um, import. Let's go and find a picture. Now, do you know? I mean, look, do you know it's? I mean, I've just tried everything here to try and crash it. You know, I, I, AOS since 1.4 Icarus, and I'm not talking Icarus because the AOS that, that particular time scale. It's really, really stable. He says I'm asking. I'm, I'm putting, you know, trying to shoot myself in the foot here, but. So yeah, they can type a letter, hello. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, let's just, I, I'm just trying to, you see I mean, it's completely integrated. As long as, again, as long as you don't mind using the Amiga in full screen mode, right? No, no, I'm all for it. I mean, I don't, this is why I don't use coherence here. It's not, now as I said, coherence is a great technical exercise, but it just, it's, it's not complete and it, and it, the apps are really slow. So if you actually run your Amiga apps in coherency, they're really slow. But this way, so, everything is snappy, super fast. It's just absolutely brilliant, and I and I and I absolutely love it. And I know I'm always overly excitable. I can't help that. That's tough. Um, but yeah, it, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's see, um, Scala. Let's get a bit of Scala going. There you go. Now you know that's like that really uses the. Now you wouldn't be able to run that easily. You'd have to run that through something like um, running. I forget what it's called now. Um, God, this is unfair, isn't it? Oh, you know the thing where you run, run, run in. Um, can't remember. I'll come back to me in a second. 
Um, but this is just seamless. Yeah, apart from this bit here. Okay, so let's find a. Let's find a I've actually turned the sound on off on this, but um, let's, so let's make sure there's not playing that sound because I've actually turned it off as I said. Here we go. There you go. That's a Scala. Now, admittedly, you could switch this into full screen mode so that um, all the programs run in their own full screen mode. So that is configurable, like you saw in the the app early on when you when you saw me run that little demo. That was in its own screen, so I could run it in a virtual machine in a screen and run that full screen. Oops, sorry, always another one that um, D video, D sorry, DV maker. That's a good little program actually. Um, what else have we got? Digiview. Well, yeah, Digiview. There you go. Digiview works. I don't think I've got anything in it though. So no, I've got nothing in it. So should have actually put that in there. Um, how are we doing? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Current picture we lost. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, is there anything I haven't run? I think I've run everything here. Oh no, I haven't. Look, Photogenics. Let's load up Photogenics. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Let's load up an image of Photogenics. Um, and again, this is coming off the AROS petition. Oh, they don't like PNGs. It's a bit old for PNGs. Uh, let's go find um, my workspace. Do you know what? I'm going to change that music on the other side. There you go. Let, let's load in that up. There you go. Now let's. Oh god, did I give uh, Commodore some? Right. Let's go find another track. This is appropriate. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. So it's uh, photogenics. Let me go back into here, and then we'll run now. One of my. F I love. I love this again. Oh, hang on. Let's do that slow thing. Uh, let's. Um, Hang on, it seems to, um, it looks like the 68k side has uh, got the ump. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to shut that down. Okay, shut it down. Start it again. Hey, Ross doesn't even notice. Yeah, if you notice that, it's, yeah, the 68k can lock up. It doesn't matter. Just bring it all back up again and go back into what I was doing a minute ago. Right, let's, uh, where was I going? I was going to Perfect Paint. Okay, Perfect Paint. Brilliant program this is. Is that a good one? No, that was a rubbish choice, wasn't it? Uh, let's load up something. Yes, I know. Um, oh God, I pick something, pick something. There you go. Picture. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I've had this before. It takes ages. Oh, I've, I've picked a super huge one. Look, but it's you know, I can sit there like a fool. Are you getting the point? All right? Are you getting the point that this is all just running? There you go. It's got it. Just took a little while. Okay. What else have we? Sh what have I not shown you? Uh, oh, Disney. Disney software. This is great. This is. Let's switch this into high res. And there we go. Severe. Yeah, I know. And this has got a really nice uh, toolkit. If you want to do, um, I want to do animations. I just and then just do another one down there. Oh, oh god, I'm so rubbish at this. And you see their grain. And as I'm doing these, it, you see how it's graying them out like you wouldn't a pencil test. Sorry about the rubbish animation there, but uh, where well, we got my animation? I forget how you do this now. Animate. There you go. <laughs> I totally suck, don't I? Right, let's uh, let's quit that. Okay, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll end on a demo. Um, Work. Now bear in mind I have switched the sound off for this version because it's on this mode it is a bit glitchy. Um, work demos. Let's um, let's end on one, shall we? Uh, okay. Uh, the only thing is it might take a minute to come through actually. What's this one? I can't remember what this demo is. I think this might have been a bad choice, don't you think? Do you think? <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, here you go. So that's uh, AOS is still playing. Where's my point? And I've got that demo running up there. There you go. What do you think? Um, hopefully you enjoyed that demo to show the, uh, what's possible with uh, with AROS these days. Uh, I I think it's amazing. Um, I, but you know I'm but biased. Do you know up until very recently, um, I only really used AROS to be honest because it to as an experiment because it was an experimental thing and I was practicing with it, seeing what's capable. Now I actually use it. All right. I mean, I, I honestly, hand on heart. As you can see, I've got it upstairs in this uh, big bedroom, um, and I use it myself up here, uh, and I absolutely love it. So, uh, there you go, is that demo still running? How's that? Do you like that? Anyway, I've got to go now. It's, I think I've done enough now. Um, thanks very much, and toodaloo.